Welcome back everyone to more Motorsport Manager Online. And before we jump into our normal gameplay with cars, drivers, uh, sponsorships, all of that sort of thing, I want to take a moment and just talk a little bit about where things are, my, my feelings about uh, this version of the game versus the PC version of the game, and then where the future of this series might be going here on the channel. So this is something uh, that I've seen a few of you guys mention in the comment section of the different videos. Um, and it's something I've been thinking about quite a bit. And the reason for that is um, it's no secret if you look back at the history of this channel, I've played quite a bit of the PC version of Motorsport Manager on this channel. Absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite games of all time uh, and have sunk hundreds of hours into it. But And, and so when I was originally... Uh, notified that there was an online version, an Android online version of this game. I was extremely excited uh, and wanted to play it on the channel because it would give me a chance to get back into Motorsport Manager. However, there are some things about the Android version of the game that we're playing here. I'm actually playing this uh, through a different platform. I'm playing through Bluestacks, which allows me to play the Android version on the PC so that I can do things like use the mouse uh, and easily capture and share gameplay with you guys. So it makes things very convenient for me. But uh, there's just not a lot of challenge in this game. For those of you who've been following along, we have had great results very quickly in this game. And I think there's really a couple of reasons for that. Number one is the money really doesn't mean anything. It's not really in short supply in this game. All you need is time. So if you need to make an upgrade to your car or a driver or an HQ upgrade or anything like that that you don't have enough money for, then just wait a day or two and you'll have it because the sponsorships you can see here in about an hour, we're going to have a sponsor deal that will give us some more money. And of course, the storefront gives you plenty of free money on a daily basis as well. So there's free money all over the place. And of course, that doesn't even take into account the money that you get as purse money from your finishes in the different races. So money is very easy to come by here, and that is a stark contrast to the PC version of the game. In the PC version, you have to plan out entire seasons ahead because all of your money is done on a per race basis. So you have to balance out how much you're paying your drivers versus how much you spend on your car versus how much you spend on next year's car and that development cost. All of that has to be figured out before the season starts, because that's all the money you're going to have uh, from the team principal for that year. And of course, some things can happen during the course of the year to give you more or even less money. But for the most part, you have to do a lot of planning ahead with the money that you have. And you can't just go and spend it like you can here on uh, the Android version of the game. Now, I'm well aware that you can't have the PC version just directly port it over to the Android version. I understand that. Uh, and there are some things about the Android version that I prefer over the PC version. However, overall, this has been a little disappointing to me. It's fun to play, but the level of uh, excitement is not there because the challenge is not there. So in the money is, is one of those. And tying into that, the other thing is the HQ. This is probably the most disappointing part of the game for me. If you're familiar with the PC version, the HQ is a significant part of your, your money allocations over the years. It's not going to be all done in one season. It's all, not all going to be done in five seasons. You're going to have to plan ahead because every building that you build in the PC version of the HQ is going to allow you to upgrade different parts to different levels. So it is a very long-term project over many, many seasons in the game, and I really enjoy that. So the HQ here in the Android version is, to me, very shallow, and what you get from it is very shallow as well. I understand why they had to go to this method, but it's still very shallow, and it really hurts uh, the fun that I have with this game. So that leads me to... Where do we go from here? Well, I'm not just going to stop playing this game. I'm going to make several more videos and give it every chance I can uh, to continue on. However, at some point, probably fairly soon, I'll be stopping this particular series. Uh, again, we'll just see how it goes. As long as you guys um, are interested in it, then we'll probably keep going uh, as long as I'm enjoying it to some level. But 
Uh, it brings me to the point of, do I want to go back to the PC version where I know without a question, even without getting into mods, uh, that there is quite a bit of fun to be had and a lot of challenge to be had there. Um, and really my biggest issue with going back to the PC version is how long it's been out. The game has been out for several years now, and I'm just concerned that uh, that I'll put a lot of time and effort into it and there will be no views at all. Uh, and that's a lot of work on my side if there's not going to be any views. So that's my biggest concern there. I'm not concerned at all with whether or not I'll enjoy the game. There's no doubt I will be attached to that game and addicted in no time if I go back to it. Uh, but that's the one thing, the one worry I do have is just the popularity of the series. So that's something that, uh, and these are some things overall that I'm thinking about with regards to the Android version of the game that we're currently playing and the PC version of the game that I'm still trying to make some decisions on. Uh, as always, I love to hear from you guys. And by the way, if if you make a comment, ask a question, and I don't get back to you, uh, it's not necessarily because I don't want to. Um, I made a post um, as of the time of this recording, it was just a little bit earlier, about if you have a direct uh, question for me or something that uh, you'd like to let me know, then the best way to do that is through Discord because Discord is a much easier platform to navigate than uh, some of the changes that YouTube has made to uh, my side of the channel and performing different maintenance actions on the channel. It's getting harder and harder to find the information that I need and comments is just one part of that. But I did want to bring you guys up to speed on sort of the status of this particular series and some of the thought processes that I have on how long to continue the different series. And of course, as always, uh, the, the number of views on a regular basis factor into that quite heavily. So thank you very much for sitting through that and, and, um, and entertaining my thoughts on the game. So now let's move into today's video. So the first thing we're going to need to address in today's video is our driver situation. So we've got a contract expired and that seems simple enough. We just renew it. Well, I've already tried that um, and that didn't work out so well. So we'll come back to that in just a moment. But I do want to point out, you see that both cars are basically uh, at full performance. You can see our quality is great. Um, so those are pretty much done. Now, as I've mentioned multiple times, I don't do any points racing or what they call league racing um, off camera and without the few exceptions, of course, uh, due to some technical issues where we've missed some races uh, being uh, recorded. But you've seen, you guys have seen all of these. But what I do on the side is I'll run some of the exhibition races for additional money as well as the sponsors or the storefront. So that's where I will use some uh, additional races from these guys' contracts. And also, it gives me a little bit of extra time to continue building parts uh, outside of recording. So if you're ever wondering why the contracts, the number of uh, races remaining on a driver contract doesn't match up with what you saw in a previous video, that's why. No league racing, but uh, some of the exhibition races, I might try to do one a day. Uh, every once in a while, I might get an opportunity to do two in a day, but that's about it. And that's where the differences come from. Uh, so we need to do uh, some work on our drivers. And we also need to do some HQ upgrades. You can see I've upgraded our HQ to level five, but I haven't done any of the actual projects. So for that, let's head into uh, level four and let's see what we got available. Two we've already done. We've got two more remaining here. We need five, uh, additional 15 XP per race for drivers, always nice. And then one paddock token from sponsorship deals. This really doesn't mean anything at all to me. I mean, they're nice to have, but we have very easy ways of getting those. Uh, so let's just go ahead with the additional XP. Only going to cost us 200K. We're not worried about the time. And it's going to take a lot of staff. We got 100 right now, so this will bring that in half. We'll go ahead and take care of that. And also, you might notice that our number of staff has been increasing. I have uh, maxed out our number of staff at this particular point. Let's come in and take a look at our staff. And let's see, oh, since we've done our last upgrade, we've actually got more that we can hire, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and hire those. Don't have a whole lot of use for them right now, but we're gonna go ahead and keep those upgraded. And the reason is uh, hiring new drivers or renewing 
driver contracts just takes a ton of staff at this point. So we just basically need as many as we can get. All right, so now let's come back to our drivers. And you see here, driver won't sign. Well, to give you a quick rundown on what happened, I wanted to re-sign him. As I've been talking about in recent videos, I wanted to keep our driver lineup the same, particularly because of the same nationality, giving us some very nice bonuses. But uh, I offered David the maximum amount of money um, and basically maxed everything out except for the number of staff and it was almost maxed out and he would not sign. So that was very unfortunate because I did want to keep him. So now we need to go and replace him. And of course, we've got several drivers available, but what I'm really interested in, including Claudia that we've had in the past, who would definitely not be a bad choice. We're going to go after Robert because of the nationality and that wonderful bonus. So let's go ahead and click on Robert. Uh, great driver. I mean, look at these. Everything, race, qualifying, race start, smoothness are all pretty good. Overtaking, all of these are in the green, or at least some shade of green. Uh, the prize money perk, always nice. And he's only at level one right now, so this could go up even more. So not bad at all. So let's go ahead and approach him. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, when I was talking about the state of the game and what I enjoy and what I don't enjoy, we're just going to go ahead and max out what we're going to offer him as far as money. $820,000. Uh, let's go ahead and, wow, I really don't want to go with eighty, but I think I'm going to have to. Just We really want to get this dude signed. Um, 50 and 50 is where we are so far. So if I do 80, that should really only be a 30 increase over where David was. Uh, I think that's the way that should work. So an additional 30 allocated to Robert shouldn't be a big deal. Let's hope that's the way it works. All right, so uh, equal car quality. Everything looks good to me. Let's hope that this gets it done. All right, there we go. Accepted. No reason to play around with that. We wanted an American driver for those bonuses, and we got an American driver. Uh, and at this point, I don't even worry about the overall anymore. Uh, that is certainly not the most important uh, aspect here. So we're gonna replace David. Let's go ahead and continue. All right, yep, and it turns out just fine with our staff. We're down to 60 now. So everything worked out great there. And of course, he's at level one, which means we've got a ton of upgrades to do with him. Uh, Jessica, we're almost done with upgrades for her. I believe we've got one more available for her. But overall, I mean, of course, we know Jessica's stats are amazing. She's been our number one driver for a while now. But now, I think we have a real shot for Robert McGinnis to take over that slot. In fact, I would love nothing more than to have both of these drivers fighting for that number one slot uh, each and every race. That would be awesome. So let's head back to the home screen. All right, so it looks like everything is good to go. We've got everything that we need uh, up and running. So let's go ahead and, oh, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, what about our strategies? I've been using the wheel gun training, and of course our soft setup has been working great for Jessica because of her smoothness. Uh, let's see, wheel gun training, we might leave that the same, but let's also take a look at some others. Uh, there are a few that really pique my interest. And let's see, the micro repairs is a nice one, it's particularly if you like to push very hard. Uh, qualifying boost, not really worried about that. Of course, wheel gun training is where we are. Now, this aggressive strategy is, this is pretty awesome as well. The only thing you have to worry about here is that starting energy minus two laps. And for most of you, that's probably a non-issue. But for me, knowing my, uh, my past history of forgetting to take into account these things. Uh, this is why I've been staying away from this one. I am entirely likely to run a driver out of energy simply because I need to pay attention to that. Uh, but overall, really like that strategy. That is a great one. Uh, compact chassis, also very nice. The energy efficiency, not all that great for that one. Uh, every pit stop, 75% faster. Pit stop mastery is pretty awesome. Uh, and then you get into the hard and medium tire bonuses. So there is, there's really a lot. Uh, of course, the wet handling. If you've got a wet race and you've got 
three seconds faster per lap is huge. All right, so let's see. That is a really good one. I think I'm just going to leave it for right now, but I, I do want to try out some of these in the future. But right now it's hard for me to get by our current list of uh, strategies as far as which ones I prefer. All right, let's head into the race now. Oh, we've got a dilemma. What do we got? Looks like I've overestimated this month's factory budget. Oh, that's never good. We've got some surplus materials to spare. Okay, never mind. That's not bad at all. So we get plus 10 on the copper and some more gears. Thank you very much. Nothing really to choose for us. That's just a happy bonus. All right, so we'll take care of that. Uh, looks like our next career race is about to start. So we'll head in, see where we're headed. Uh, Toluca, okay. Or Toluca, I'm not sure, depending on where you are, what that might be actually called. So it looks like top prize 200K. Let's get started. All right, so we're headed to Rio. It is an abrasive track. That is certainly not the uh, the track that it showed us originally, uh, but so be it. We've got what we've got. And so we've got soft tires for both. What is our forecast? Uh, no rain, at least for the immediate beginning of the race. All right, let's go ahead and continue on. Let's see what kind of qualifying we get. And as always, I want to see how close our two drivers are. We've got some factors that are going to hold them back a little bit as far as direct competition, but uh, third and fifth. All right, I'm definitely not going to argue with that. That is very nice. Looks like a lot of soft tires on the grid. And so we got seven laps. Uh, let's see. Can we do this? Let's go conserve there. I think we can do that uh, with him. Let's actually do... Can we do three? Man, that, they are really making this difficult on me. So let's go ahead... Let's go ahead and conserve with both drivers. Reason being, I need to get three laps at least out of him on one of the stints. Uh, so three, two, and two is probably what I'm going to try to do with him. But uh, Monroe here, we're going to try to do a one-stopper with her. And as always, uh, we'll see how that works out. But right now, uh, Monroe, she is out front of the two drivers, fifth and seventh, but as always, we're not terribly worried about that. It takes uh, a little over half the race to see how everybody's strategy is going to work its way out. What I tend to look at more than that is the tire wear. Uh, and of course, you can see here, Monroe is way ahead on tire wear. Uh, and same here for uh, Robert as well. So both of these guys are looking very good. Some of these others are being probably just ultra aggressive is really what it's all about. Trying to get the most speed that they possibly can. Uh, so let's see. Robert is going to need to come in. And let's see. We could try to do a medium stint. Let's try that with him and see if we can't get him there on a one stopper as well. Meantime, we are going to be pushing it extremely close with... Uh, with Monroe here, but I think we can get it done on one stop with her. She'll probably run out of tire here on this first stint uh, a little bit before her lap ends and she gets to the pits, but I think overall it's going to be fine. All right, so here comes Robert in for his pit stop. Didn't get a chance to see the time, but I'm sure it's going to be fine. And okay, so we can go neutral with him and I think we're going to be okay. Uh, in the meantime, we need to set up our pit stop before I forget. So you can see she's at 4%. So she's not going to quite make it this entire lap, but I still think it's going to be worth our time doing. Okay, so she ran out about where, honestly, I thought she would on the lap. But you can see it slowed her down, but not a ton, really. Not enough to make me think about making an extra pit stop. I'll put it that way. All right, there we go. So... She's back out in, so now third and fourth for our two drivers. All right, I like that. Now, she should blow right by uh, Roberts, just given the, the tire compound that they're on, plus her bonus to make the, her soft tires even faster. Uh, but right now, she's having some trouble overtaking. There we go. All 
All right, so right now we've got this thing locked down uh, pretty good. My question is, did I overestimate? Let's go back to conserve because I think we're going to be fine as far as speed. We had a lot of hard tires behind us. And I think, and yep, there they go. Pit stops in front of us. So I want to make sure above all else that we have enough tire to make it to the end. And I think we do, uh, for sure do with uh, Monroe here. She definitely is going to be fine. She is running out to quite a nice lead. And keep in mind, we are not pushing hard at all with either of these drivers. No reason to really mess around with the energy situation. All right, so we're coming to the final lap. And final lap, 28% there, 26. Yeah, that's pretty close. I'm going to give it a minute here. And then we're going to go over to neutral just to make sure we've got enough speed to hold these guys off. Shouldn't be an issue. In fact, now it's growing even more. Yeah, we are perfectly fine. So no reason to even come close to uh, running out there. I was going to risk it because I thought he, they were a little bit closer than that, but now I see the actual gap. Uh, that's not bad at all. So this brings up another potential option for Robert uh, because it looks like he's going to have enough speed uh, in order to make those medium tires work pretty good. Maybe we could do one stoppers with both of these guys and uh, that could work out really well. Or we could go the other way and go ultra aggressive and go soft tires and really push hard and use the uh, the strategy that allows our pit stops to be basically non-existent uh, as far as the time he stopped, less than a second. So, not bad. We've got a brand new driver. We finished 1-2 on the grid. Uh, hard to argue with that very first uh, race performance out of Robert McGinnis. Uh, you can see we did have another one of those on the grid. That's one of the things I was trying to stay away from. Um, but at this point, it just kind of is what it is. That's another one of those things that I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video that is not my favorite part of the game, although I understand. All right, some additional materials, electronic sheet metal, aluminum. Okay, thank you very much. We'll take all of that. We don't need it right now, but uh, here in probably a few more races, we'll whenever we move up again, we'll certainly have a need for it. Total of 45 points there. Uh, the global leaderboard, you can see 400K, not very much that we've uh, made in this particular uh, season, which is seven days. So we're not in line for a, a very large bonus right now, but we'll see how things go as we continue to move along. So now we're headed to the screen where we get to pick one part and try to fix that either to improve the performance or to improve the reliability both factor into uh, the overall quality of the race car. So worn parts, let's see what we've got. Uh, lose some reliability out of the brakes. Okay, overall, I mean, I'm not worried too much about the performance side of things. I'm more concerned with where we are on reliability. Uh, so 72%, let's go ahead and fix that. Because one thing you can say about our lead engineer right now, she's very good on reliability. So I don't think that performance hit, even though it's not, not good at all, uh, I don't think that's going to hurt us very much overall. All right, so not bad. We have 86 points now, and for our next promotion, we need 145 points. So let's head back to the track. All right, so it looks like we're headed to Rio once again. 34% chance of rain, which is uh, quite a large percentage chance. In fact, that may be about the highest percentage chance we've seen. Uh, we're going to stick with the soft tires on both this time. But again, as I mentioned in the last race, I'm thinking about the possibility of changing up uh, on Robert as far as his strategy and maybe going with the medium tire. That could be uh, a very good option for him. But we'll see as thing goes along because I really like that one-stop strategy uh, as often as we can use it. So here we go, third and fourth. Once again, these guys are starting very close to one another, finishing very close to one another. That makes me very happy for not only the money we make, but also, uh, let's see, let's go ahead. Oh, so we're gonna get three laps here. 
yeah, we need three laps out of both of these guys. So thankfully, because of the smoothness of Monroe, she can push a little bit harder. And as always, I'll be keeping a track on uh, the tire life of the guys around us. Because I do see some medium and hard tire, but they're at the back of the field. And generally, with our one-stop strategy, uh, they can't make up the speed to get to us. So right now, I I'm pretty happy. Again, we'll keep a track on the tire life of those around us and just see how things are working out. So it's looking like only three laps uh, per stint. Can't quite get four, but I got to tell you, this is awfully tempting to do on our second stint uh, to try to make that happen. Boy, that is going to be so close. Uh, but I'm tempted just to, to sort of throw a Hail Mary here and see if we can uh, make that happen. All right, so far so good. Let's see, we have, okay, 30% there. So probably three, two, and two for Robert, and maybe the same thing with uh, Monroe, just to mix things up a little bit, quite frankly. All right, so I see a lot of people pitting after two laps. That is huge. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's put her on. Let's put her on the medium. I know that messes her up a little bit, but I want to keep one driver on uh, on that. Let's go ahead and set up the pitch stop here. And let's keep going soft tire. So we're going to split up the strategy a little bit for these guys. And I'm going to just see if speed can dominate here for us and, and get us a good finish instead of our normal strategies. All right, so yes, this will be perfect on the medium tire. And so we're going to have him... Oh, wow, we definitely don't want to attack. Uh, that would just get us there, but we're all already losing quite a bit of reliability. I'm afraid we will run through that way too quickly if I continue on like that. So Monroe, I'm basically done with. She's going to run out her strategy, whatever that ends up being. Uh, I can see that we're going to have some pit stops in front of her. Actually, maybe not the leader. All right, so now we've got enough. Let's go full attack mode. Set up the pitch stop for him. Confirm that. All right, so he is on full attack mode right now for the remainder of this lap. We just need to make the pass here so we can make the most of it, which he's having a real hard time doing. But he's wearing out the tires just the same. All right, so nope, he's not gonna be able to make that pass at least not in time to make any difference. So he's gonna come in for his final pit stop. And again, let's just see what what sort of finish that gets for him. Pit stop very quick. He is now back into ninth. So we've got two laps remaining. I'm gonna let him just go as hard as he can. And basically we're just gonna see what happens. See how the reliability holds out. Does he break down? All sorts of things like that. We're just gonna have a little fun with it here. All right, right now, we've got several cars we can pass. We just need to get to it. In the meantime, uh, you can see out at the front of the pack, yeah, I mean, this is amazing right now. We're full 11 seconds ahead. All right, reliability. I uh, haven't seen huge drops here for Robert. Okay, there you go. Big one there, down to 25%. And he is pushing hard. Back in sixth, so... Making additional stops just isn't worth it. Uh, not with this particular strategy we're using anyway. We need to use a different strategy if we're going to try to uh, try to do that. But I think he's going to make it. Reliability is still above 20 as he comes through the final corner. And he'll bring it home. Not bad. Not bad. So first and sixth, uh, that's actually... Not terrible. You can see, though, we were not that far off the podium. So with some quicker pit stops, he could have been on the podium even with uh, the additional pit stop strategy. And again, that is really wish this guy wouldn't keep, keep making it to um, the podium. 
All right, we shall take it. Too many Robert McGinnises in the in the field there. I don't like that at all. All right, a few more extra components. Again, we've I don't even know how much copper wire we have at this point. It's got to be a ton because we've gotten a lot of it, and we don't have to use uh, a huge amount of it whenever we're doing upgrades. So additional gears, we definitely need as many of those as we can get. So overall, not bad. We got to have a little fun. Uh, but before our next race, I'm actually going to change up the strategy for uh, Robert a little bit. In fact, I might change it up with both drivers. We'll just have to see. It's, um, I think the, the fit that we have right now is pretty good, but it can always be better. And plus, it's always fun to try different stuff out. So let's do that a little bit. All right, let's see where things are now. Okay, still not, still not the end of the world. Uh, if we wanted to fix performance, then, okay, plus six. All right, that's not bad. Let's go ahead and do that because our reliability hasn't been significantly hurt. So that's going to put our performance nearly identical between the two cars. And now you can see, here we are, 24 points away from our next promotion. So we should have no trouble getting that in our next video. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And stay tuned for more Motorsport Manager Online.